As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone, except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends, for babies, being left alone is a challenging experience. It seems that babies begin to wonder, will my caregiver return to be at my side? Experts in child development claim that an important game for babies is peekaboo as parents hide their faces and then quickly return, the young child learns to trust that parents are frequently nearby, but unseen. Friends, for us believers, the experience of prayer sometimes seem to resemble the childhood games of peekaboo and hide and seek. Along with the ancient poet of Psalm 27, we pray, Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper, cast me not off. Friends, we sometimes are alone, like infants wondering whether God has gone away, abandoning us. The season of Lent invites us to see Jesus as if for the first time with Catholic imagination, along with the disciple friends of Jesus on the mountain today, we watch Jesus change the appearance of his face. We see Jesus in glory for a short time. And then, as in the game of peekaboo, we no longer are able to see Jesus' glory. But Jesus remains at the side and on the side of his companions and every one of us today. For those few moments on the mountain, the disciples see Jesus as God always sees him. The long season invites us all to look upon one another as God sees them. In the eyes of our loving God, every human face has a glory and beauty like that of the risen Jesus. Please stand for the prayers of the faithful. With confidence and trust, we now bring our prayers before God. For our whole church, that we may be an ever-learning community open to God's ongoing revealing holy word, remembering your constant love, we pray to the Lord. For a deeper understanding of how our, our faith compels us to act on behalf of the poor, the marginalized, the discriminated, and the less powerful, Remembering your constant love, we pray to the Lord. For those who are searching and seeking faith and grace during these most difficult of times and days, remembering your constant love, we pray to the Lord. For those whose deepened faith has been expressed at great personal cost, for the contemporary martyrs, courageous witnesses, and all persecuted Christians, remembering your constant love, we pray to the Lord. For those who've gone before us this past week, Marie Dickinson, Michael Blaze, Carolee Sullivan, Priscilla Devine, 
Neil Murphy, Joel Sexton, grandson of Jackie Higgins, and for all those we remember on our church and virtual prayer wall, and for those we remember in a special way at this Mass, Edward Pietras, remembering your constant love, we pray to the word, the Lord. For the many who are ill, that they have God's grace, and in gratitude for the many caregivers and workers who help all of us in so many ways. Remembering your constant love, we pray to the Lord. For all of us to witness in our daily words and actions that all human life is graced and a gift for everyone. Remembering your constant love, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are searching for faith, fulfillment, and purpose in their lives, that they hear the voice of our Lord calling them to faith and church service. Remembering your constant love, we pray to the Lord. For those who offer their lives in service to keep us safe, our first responders, emergency personnel, military, and all health care workers, remembering your constant love, we pray to the Lord. Loving and merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we entrust these prayers and petitions to your wise and loving plan of providence for us. We are confident today because we unite our prayers to the prayers of the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church and Queen of Heaven, and speak them in the name of her Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and our Savior forever and ever. Kindly stand. May the sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after Jesus had told the disciples of his approaching death, on the holy mountain he manifested to them his glory, to show, even by the testimony of the law and the prophets, that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, Edward, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us while still on earth to be partakers even now of the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Bow for the blessing. Bless your faithful, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever and keep them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son, Jesus, so that they may always desire and at last attain that glory whose beauty he showed in his own body to the amazement of his apostles through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.